Installation instructions to install Luxiflex Evo awnings. The following instructions apply to the installing of brackets for all forms of Evo. Determine the drop and mark. The distance between the brackets should be the ordered overall measurement from outside of bracket to outside of bracket. Determine the opening and centre the awning and then mark. Mark the fixing holes for the first bracket. Drill holes to suit the method of fixing determined by the substrate being fixed to. Brackets will come pre-assembled with idle and drive-in components attached. The position of these components on the brackets will be determined by the fixing orientation specified on the order form. Screw the first bracket in place. Ensure the bracket is installed straight using a spirit level. Repeat the process for the second bracket. Use a string line from outside edge of the bracket to determine the correct location of the cable guide bottom bracket. The bottom bracket is universal and can be used for wall or floor mounting. Disassemble bottom bracket by removing E-clip and fix bottom bracket into place with countersunk 12 gauge by 40 mm screws. Then reassemble the bottom bracket. Ensure the lip of the barrel is facing towards the awning fabric with 5 mm of thread screwed into the cable bolt and that the floating end cap is fitted onto the cable. Feed cable through the top cable brackets. Pull the cable tight. Lock off with a 4 mm Allen key. Ensure the grub screw is securely tightened. If the fabric is being overrolled, then the extension plate is fitted to the inside of the bracket to enable the top cable guide to extend out to line up with the fabric. Return to the bottom bracket and tighten the tension pin by holding the wire with a pair of pliers and tension with a 6.5mm spanner. Return to the top bracket and trim the cable. Repeat on the opposite side. With a crank control, insert the crank gear pin end of the roller into the crank gear. Insert pivot pin into idle end of the tube, ensuring that the rubber O-ring is located into the second groove on the pin. Lift roller over the installation bracket and down, so pivot pin sits inside the pivot plate. Insert idle locking pin to secure the roller. Operate the awning to ensure tracking and correct operation. Lower the awning to a position where it can be reached. Tilt the bottom rail and insert the floating end cap into the rail. Repeat for the other side. If ordered, the optional locking bolts will be supplied pre-installed in the bottom rail. Lower awning to the bottom cable guide brackets. Slide locking bolt into the bottom cable guide bracket and apply tension by turning the crank. The installation is now complete. Ensure you show the customer how to operate the awning and provide them with their warranty document which is in the packaging.